Jefferson, felicidades por el gol. De verdad, eso nos metió nuevamente en el partido. Uh, ¿Qué es lo que cambió en el segundo tiempo para el equipo según tú como jugador? Congratulations on the goal. What changed in the second half to kind of get the outcome that you did? No, pienso realmente agradecerle a ellos por por la victoria. Eh, la verdad, en el primer tiempo estaba un poco frustrado porque el equipo no estaba llegando mucho al arco. Eh, pero también analizando en el, el partido, eh, ya para comenzar el segundo tiempo pensé en, en bajar más a buscar la pelota y creo que, que el equipo mejoró un poco. También Luna también empezó a agarrar un poco más la pelota y, y creo que eso nos ayudó. También el ingreso de Chicho eh, creo que hizo eh, echar un poco al rival para atrás y, y bueno, eso nos ayudó y así fue que empezamos a, a entrar en el partido. First of all, very thankful to God for the win. The truth is the first half, we were a little bit frustrated, been analyzing the game going into the second half. I wanted to look for the ball more, and I think that's what we did. The team improved. I also think the return of Chicho gave us a little bit of a boost and helped us out there. Jefferson. Eh, muy pocas veces se enfrentan en un torneo a un equipo en cinco ocasiones. ¿Tú crees que ahora <laughs> enfrentar por quinta vez a Houston puede ayudar en algo? Um, it's very rare when you face a team five times in a year. Do you think now that it is as many times, can that be a little bit of a help? Sí, por supuesto, va a ser un partido muy difícil, como lo ha sido todos los partidos que hemos enfrentado a Houston. Tienen grandes jugadores, eh, pero sí nos ayuda, por supuesto, a conocer un poco más los jugadores. Va a ser un partido allá de mucho desgaste. Eh, nosotros tenemos que ir con la misma energía, con las mismas ganas que tuvimos en el segundo tiempo y bueno. Esperemos confiando en Dios que, que todo nos salga bien y podamos avanzar, que es lo más importante. Yes, I think obviously it's a very difficult game. They have great players, but it does help, you know, the players a little bit more and it's an overall better game. We know we need to go out there with intense energy and hopefully moving forward we're able to advance. Just the last one for me, just Diego. Uh, how would a kid from 20, just say kid, 20 years old, take the time to a penalty kid and this decision day? How do you take that? I think we're going to with the confidence and the right mentality that I've been in the in the last the couple games. So I think it's just the, the confidence and going up there and knowing what you're going to do. And and I walked up to Zach right there when he gave me the ball and I said, let's go to Houston. So I think it was just having confidence and, and just putting it away. Diego, Pablo said that uh, he asked you if you wanted to shoot fourth or fifth. Yeah. And you said fifth. Yeah. Why? For a moment exactly like that. I think uh, that I already planned that in my head. And uh, <coughs> yeah, I literally planned that in my head and that's the vision that I saw. And um, yeah. Uh, Jefferson, para un equipo que no recibió ni un, ningún penal a favor durante toda la temporada, ¿qué tal fue la preparación para ustedes? Porque si bien hoy anotaron cada uno de esos penales, ¿qué tal fue la preparación para estar al 100% mentalmente para este momento? Uh, for a team that has not had any PK calls all season, how yeah. did you and the team prepare in order to get the result tonight as everyone made their PK shots? Eh, sí, sí, pienso que el equipo está preparado siempre después de los, de los entrenamientos. Todos los jugadores pateaban un, un penalti, dos penaltis. Eh, y en los entrenos se veía muy bien, todos estaban pateando muy bien y hoy se reflejó en, en el partido. Eh, eh, creo que todos estaban con muy buena confianza. Eh, tanto los que patearon como los que no, no patearon también iban a tener la confianza de patear porque todo, todos patean muy bien y, y bueno, lo importante fue que obtuvimos esa confianza para, para patear los penaltis. I think we were all very well prepared in training. It's something we practice every day, penalties, everybody looked good, and obviously that came out towards the game. We had all the confidence in the world, whether you were stepping on that line or not, we were confident. Um, Chicho wasn't with you guys uh, in the last game uh, in Houston, but he was there tonight. What what does he bring uh, that changes the game? This is for both of you guys. Either one can answer. Regreso de Chicho, sí. Es importante para nosotros. Chicho es un jugador importante para nosotros. Creo que el rival viendo a Chicho en el campo eh, creo que piensa diferente. Eh, y bueno, eso nos ayudó cuando, cuando ingresó en el partido. Por supuesto nos hizo falta ya 
en Houston, pero sabemos que tenemos también grandes jugadores, tenemos a Dami, tenemos a Julio, tenemos a Rubio, tenemos delanteros también con que, con que escoger cuando, cuando Chicho no esté, pero hoy fue importante para nosotros también, nos ayudó en el ingreso. Um, of course, he brings a lot to the team as a player. He's very important to us. I think him on the field is just a different mentality, and it helped us a lot. His return definitely helped. We needed him in Houston, but of course, we have other forwards that help, like Anderson and Rubio. We're just happy he's back. Any thoughts? No, I think he said it all. I think it, a big player coming into our game helps us and helps the team, helps you know everyone individually. When you have a player like Chicho stepping on, it boosts everybody up and gets us pumped up more like that. But like you said, we have players all around. So of course there's good players, and, and whoever steps up will step up. And then what's it going to take on Saturday? Uh, winner take all could be the last game. What, what, what do you guys have to do to get that win? Yeah, I think we got a lot of motivation going in there. And I think um, having those fans out there like that today is, is big motivation to you know, hosting the next game if we go through. So <clears throat> I think that's the most motivation we have right there. And if, if that's not motivating us, I don't know what is, you know. So I think going out there to Houston and, and doing that same thing and putting that, that energy in and the work hard, um, I think that's going to get us a result. Diego, how much confidence does it give the rest of you guys when you know when Zach makes that first mm -hmm. save? Yeah, it, it's huge. You know, when, when you have your keeper making a, you know, the first save of the game and in the, in the PK shootout, it gives everybody just a boost of confidence and, and happiness and joy. So I think it's all, it's all uh, mentality and it's all mental. So I think when, when something like that happens, everybody's just like, like let's go. It's our, it's our time. Hey, uh, Diego, <coughs> uh, just a question for you about halftime. So obviously going into halftime down 1-0, what's the mentality from the players and how do you guys refocus to get the result at the end of the day? Yeah, you know, unfortunate PK. We, you know, we got let down, but I think we were we were pressing well, and I think they were they were getting scared. So I think it was just the same work work rate and, and having that dog in us that, that came out in the second half, and of course having Chijo come in had an effect. And um, yeah, I think it was just continue to, to work hard, and things will come for us. And you've shown a lot of chemistry on the field with a lot of different players. Is that something that you've you've done in training? Does that happen on the field <coughs> more so? How does that how does that come to you? I think that's just me showcasing myself and, and everybody is, is getting to know the player I am and getting to know what I'm looking for. And uh, of course, me looking for the, the, the strengths of our, of our teammates and that's just how training is and that's what training is for. So I think it's just natural. And lastly, how do you keep that confidence going and keep your mentality right, uh, especially going into this third, third game? Yeah, like I said, I think all the motivation is there, right? And I think with motivation comes confidence. When, when you have that motivation behind you, you're just going to build confidence and you got to go in there with a, a happy mentality and enjoy it. You know, we, we all enjoy this game and, and do it for our, our work. So I think it's, it's all about just grinding and, and enjoying it. Thank you. Jefferson, yeah, um, how, how much did the, the crowd play into the game tonight, um, especially helping you, I mean, feel energized to be able to score the first goal of the game and then step up to have the confidence to take your penalty. Sí, sí. Fue muy importante para nosotros que la afición estuvo metida en todo el partido, no solo en los en los penaltis. Y eso va a ser muy importante si llegamos a avanzar en Eh, en el siguiente partido eh, los fans van a ser muy importantes para nosotros, ellos son como nuestro jugador 12 eh, y bueno, esperemos hoy fueron muy especial para nosotros y espero y, y nos sigan apoyando de esta forma porque así el, el equipo siempre va a mantenerse motivado y cuando el equipo esté en, en resultado adverso eh, eso nos ayuda a levantarnos they're very important to us. The fans were involved the entire game, not just during penalties, and that's so important. If we do make it and we advance, they will be a big part of us. They're like our 12th player, and today they were so special, and they kept supporting us and continue to support. Muchas gracias. Uh, Diego, I remember when you first came here, one of the things you said is the reason you chose to come to Real Salt Lake is because the team had a plan for you, and uh, you were most interested in that plan. Um, have you started to see that plan come to full fruition through the past few games and and I, I know you have a good great relationship with Pablo mm -hmm. how has that kind of helped you feel more comfortable with this team yeah I think it, it all just comes down to my individual in, you know performance and and the way I've been playing and kind of showcasing myself and that leads to you know doors opening that leads to many different opportunities so all I'm focused on is right now is playing at this this team this moment right now and getting these results 
and um, that's all I'm focused on. So whatever doors open in, in the near future, whatever happens, what happens. But I think right now all I'm focused on is, is playing for RSL and I'm enjoying it. Thanks to you. Yep. Anyone on Zoom, any questions for Diego or Saba? Okay, great. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.